Hey there, Aquarius. You're watching Cheese Tarot. Thank you for being here. I truly appreciate it. Uh, we are going to be doing a weekly general reading for you um, with the Celtic Cross. It will be from August 16th, 2023, moving forward uh, to the 23rd, August 23rd. So this is your weekly general reading. Please know it's a general reading, so it may not be for everybody. Take what resonates, leave the rest. Um, if you like my vibe, please subscribe. Um, everything you need to know is in the description box below with Tease Tarot. So there's contests, all sorts of things. If you want to read that, you're more than welcome to. Cross watchers, you are welcome. So I'm going to be doing a Celtic reading. Please note that the future card, the last card um, of the Celtic cross, uh, if it happens to be a negative card, card. I will be pulling uh, bonus cards to um, see if we can rectify that negative card and how to sort of maneuver around that obstacle that could be presenting itself within the Celtic Cross. Okay, so stay tuned for that. I will, of course, be pulling clarifiers throughout. Uh, stay tuned to the end. I will be asking advice from spirit, from the universe for you, Aquarius. Cross watchers, you are welcome. Just know that this is meant for Aquarius. Uh, you may find yourself show up in the reading. If so, um, it may be significant to you. You're welcome here. Just please know that I did resonate on the cards for Aqu Aquarius um, for August 16th, moving forward to tw the 23rd of August. Okay, with that, let's get started. Um, so this is a general reading. Take what resonates and leave the rest. Flip rolls, um, Aquarius, as you see fit. First cards I will be drawing from is Doreen Virtue's Life Purpose cards for Aquarius. What do we have for Aquarius? Please, angel spirits, guides, ancestors. What do we have? for Aquarius. So check out the description box. There's two contests going on, ongoing contests. I'm trying to catch up here. I'm doing a lot of catch up. It's been a busy summer. Um, I've been busy, but I'm sure Aquarius knows what that is like. Um, so everything you need to know is in the description box below from T's Tarot. For life purpose, what is life purpose for Aquarius? General reading. If this does not resonate with you, that's fine. Uh, just come back next week. Possibly uh, there's a message in here for you somewhere. Um, or just come back next week and uh, check out your general reading. For Aquarius life purpose, please. I do prefer jumpers. If not, I work with the spirit team and graciously so. Okay. Emily Aquarius. Okay. So it says loving your friends and family is central to your life purpose. So you may find that family um, togetherness uh, could be going on a lot of family around you, a lot of people comforting you possibly, um, a strong family unit. Okay. Um, and also this card sort of just is still laying here let go it says walk away from the situation in order to resolve it there might be an air aquarius out there going through something um the life purpose for you would be to find a way to let go of that um and try to resolve the situation um aquariuses are very innovative um, they're very strong when they're on a team. They usually head the team because they're so, so creative and very fast on their feet, fast thinking. So um, there might be a situation that you're going through. You're uh, being drawn to let go of that energy, okay? It might be someone, a person, place, or thing. So you will know that. And then also I'm going to draw for you Aquarius um, animal spirit messages. Whoa, okay. So they dropped out a lot of them. Many three. So you've got oh three <laughs> messages from okay the animal spirits. Uh, you might be an animal lover, uh, Aquarius. I um, I would think because we also have here dog. Uh, your loyal loyalty and faithfulness is misplaced by serving too many masters. Mm -hmm. 
Your loyalty and faithfulness is misplaced by serving too many masters. So take the lead role, okay, but your loyalty and faithfulness needs is as you are being asked to misplace that because you're serving too many others. So that could have to do with your family, okay? And it also could have to do with letting go of a situation, okay? Too many um, chiefs, not enough Indians, all right? Okay, uh, Peacock, let yourself stand out and be noticed. Exactly is what the energy I'm reading for you today is this. If, if uh, any a sign would get a peacock, I would think uh, Aquarius would be one of them. Okay, so stand out from the rest. That's what they're asking you to do, the animal spirit messages. Then we have rattlesnake. The experiences that you're presently going through are an initiation into fulfilling your purpose as a healer. All right, so life purpose, healing, letting go, okay, too many masters going on within your um, maybe area of business. Maybe there's just too many and um, you're trying to find uh, who to be loyal to, okay, and what to be loyal to, okay. So maybe uh, developing more healing um, within yourself so that you can help others is possibly what you're needing or being asked to do from angels, guides, spirits, and ancestors. So we're going to get right into it, into the Celtic cross. So I hope that helps. I hope I explained it as much as I could. Um, we will be drawing advice at the end from Spirit, um, from Oracles, from Keepers of the Light, and also the Fairy Oracles. So stay tuned for that. So August 16th to the 23rd. It will be August 23rd, 2023. For Aquarius, please. I did um, meditate on your cards, like I mentioned, for Aquarius. Aquarius is one of my favorite signs, also an air sign like myself. Um, very much the star card of, in tarot, of course, is one of people's favorites for Aquarius. So we're talking about the heart of the matter for Aquarius. Thank you. So I'm going to lay them out, and then I will discuss them with you, the cards. We have seven of cups for the heart of the matter. Okay. The situation involves celebration. So like the family card coming together, maybe with family or friends. Okay, you got celebration, um, which is um, the main environment around you. But the heart of the matter is seven of cups. There could be a lot of options for you in matters of the heart. Okay, um, possibly to do with different decisions you're needing to make um, throughout this week. Okay. You have a lot of options. Of course, they come with love, okay? Um, so it could be different love partnerships. You're coming together with someone, maybe specific or family. It's no, I feel family a lot for you right now. Family is very, very important to you. The past, what's influencing your situation is the Wheel of Fortune. So the recent past, um, you've been very lucky in terms of celebrations so coming together with someone um you know having a beautiful summer together enjoying family enjoying all that there is in life um luck has been on your side uh we will clarify definitely the recent past and what you're dealing with is the page of cups so a possible love offer from a page coming in now page pages are messengers of course so there could be a message in the recent past that you could be thinking about okay uh, with the Seven of Cups, pondering, thinking, wondering, um, you know, a lot, okay? But there could be a lot of love offers as well um, in the recent past that you have been having to decide which one to choose, okay? But you are, I feel, really, really um, about your family, okay? Your loyalty goes to your family, you're in charge, uh, you're making a difference, Okay, and luck has been on your side. The near future for Aquarius. 
work very as four this week. Any events? What does the near future look like for Aquarius, please? Angels, guides, and ancestors. A lot of communication. Eight of Wands. Okay, a lot of communication. So now wonder, there's a lot of um, options available. Could be in terms of love. What is the present situation? Or Aquarius. Thank you, angels, guides, and ancestors. Or Aquarius for August 2016. No, 2016. Ish. 2000. I did it again. <laughs> August 16th, 2023. Going to August 23rd, 2023. I shouldn't have put those 23 and 2023 as a match in my mind as a numerology. <laughs> Okay, so present situation for this week is a uh, Knight of Cups. So yeah, a lot of strong offers in love coming towards you. If you're ready for it, you're ready to celebrate. Okay, that's your situation. You're ready to celebrate. You have a lot of decisions, a lot of fast communication. Luck's on your side, which means to me as a reader, luck be on your side with all of this communication, decisions needing to be made, people vying for your attention. It's really, um, you know what? I feel it's just uh, with the seven of cups, it could be so hard. Um, I'm not the biggest fan of seven of cups usually, but when it's in matters of the heart and you have a lot of options, hey, why not? Right. So really enjoy your time with, I'm feeling the others that you surround yourself with. Okay. And make sure that you're surrounding yourself with, um, people that you love. You see, these two cups, this is a knight, he's above the page, okay, so it could be two different energies, or just a lot of affection coming towards you from this one energy that's stepping up their game into a knight of cups, a knight of cups offer, this is someone very loving, very caring, nurturing, okay, male, female, uh, just take the masculine and, ener uh, and feminine energies as you see, as you see, I think what's bothering you, though, is that there's so much of it. There's so much love coming towards you that you are like, oh, I, I don't know. The heart of the matter, which is like right dead center in the middle, is a lot of options having to decide. I'm feeling that you are celebrating life, and that is what you are all about. Luck is on your side. I feel like maybe if there's more than two or three people or more, um, Aquarius, that are vying for your attention, you know, um, you'll know what to do innately, okay? Trust your instincts is what I'm saying because this could, we could go about this all day, all night for weeks at a time. So I feel like it's saying don't, you don't need to pick one cup right now. Celebrate life, celebrate you, celebrate the family and love surrounding you and who's in your surrounding. The communication that's come in, yeah, answer the, answer the call, right? Um, it could be something great. So, okay, moving up the ladder onto the staff, outside influence, who is in Aquarius's energy, their thoughts and feelings towards Aquarius. I will clarify for you. If you have any questions, if it does resonate, uh, please let me know in comments. Um, I've been very busy this summer, more busy than I thought with my son. Uh, he's eight uh, and he's busy actually. And I'm, I'm needing to help him be busy. Um, it's been a long drought for him without, all, you know, um, what we've all been through. So I've been just trying to be, get, get him to be or help him be as busy with friends. And there's been so many parties he's been going to and it's lovely. I love it. Um, so if you've not seen me on the channel, that's why I'm home with my son this summer. So lucky me. I love that. Um, so anyways, it's about the kids for me, of course. Um, so if you've missed me on the channel, maybe um, that's where I've been uh, hanging out with my son and just having some fun. Okay, so for Aquarius, please. So 
So I feel like you are saying go, okay, um, for whoever I'm reading for, whoever this resonates with. It is, I do feel it is um, a singular energy. What is the outside influences in the situation? That's in, in Aquarius's environment. And any thoughts or feelings that someone has for Aquarius, for Aquarius, for, oh, oh, okay. All right, so people are really um, battling for your attention this week, Aquarius. Um, their thoughts and feelings towards you is they're not going to let go of the Aquarius that they want to have in their life. Okay, so they're battling whatever options they possibly know about this. Um, they know that you're, you know, wanting to celebrate life. You're wanting to have a good time. You're wanting to enjoy life, essentially. Um, and they want to be part of that. Okay, so if there is anyone else um, wanting your um, love and affection, they're like saying no. I'm not going to let that happen. I want my Aquarius. Okay. So that is their feelings. They will fight for you and for your attention. Okay. For your love. They will do so in a loving, loving way. Okay. With all the, you know, grandiose love offers, very charming, very, very caring. Okay. You may find that they have a lot of words of, you know, affection that they want to bring to you. So that is a nice feeling and you are celebrating that energy. Okay, but they will not give up so far is how they are feeling. Okay, what is Aquarius's truest feelings within the situation? Luck is on your side. I'm feeling like you don't even really need to make a decision. It's almost like they, they're not going to, they, they've already made up their mind. <laughs> so, um, if you are in the Seven of Cups element where you're trying to figure out which cup to choose, which love cup, which person, which situation, you know, you fit into best with in terms of partnerships. Um, I think they've made the decision already for you. So, okay, what are Aquarius's feelings within this? Okay, well, you are feeling good. Uh, you're in your the best element that you can possibly and very very nurturing I mean, no wonder they are vying for your attention they are wanting to beat out the rest in terms of being your partner because you are the empress okay this is how you are feeling and how this affects the situation very nurturing very abundant in your love your thoughts your words your actions um, very nurturing very caring giving uh, very abundant in wealth not always a when we talk about wealth, we're talking about money, though you're able to establish a very nice home, very nurturing, very caring, and they know it. Okay, so right here we have the knight offering an empress a cup. Okay, so if this was a king, fine. It's a knight. So maybe that is why you're sort of like, well, I'm kind of the empress here. <laughs> and so possibly you're wanting to just, you know, sit back. Okay. This is also, uh, could be a pregnancy, not for everyone out there, of course. Um, you're wanting to sit back in your lavish abundance and your beautiful essence. And a knight comes to, to, to talk to you with all this communication and they have loving words. And you're, I think I feel that you're listening. You're like, okay, yeah, you can say all the loving things. I already know that about myself. I'm the empress. Um, so we'll see what happens. Um, if it was a king, I'd say beautiful. A knight is kind of um, learning. He's in training. So he comes to you with a love cup, which is really rather endearing. Uh, very sweet. Okay. Because he's probably knows that he's not ready for this empress, but he is, he is for sure excited for the empress and the Aquarius here. So any hopes, fears, and wishes or doubts about this situation for Aquarius, from Aquarius's point of view. Oops, wishes. Okay, so strong love offers coming in. And like I said, you don't need to make a choice. You're the empress, you're celebrating life. You're enjoying yourself. You know luck is on your side. 
Uh, you've been the Empress and you will continue to be the Empress no matter what um, page of cups or knight of cups or any any knight or king or queen comes towards you. Okay, so Empress, change roles as you see fit. Uh, gender doesn't matter in tarot. It's the energy, so very feminine energy. Hopes, fears, wishes for Aquarius, please. What do we have? Any doubts? Any hopes? What are they wanting? Wishing for? Looking forward to? What are they looking forward to for this week? What could they look forward to this week besides a lot of communication, which is what's crowning you? Any hopes or fears for the beautiful Empress Aquarius? So remember, if you like my vibe, please subscribe. Um, if it resonates, let me know. I'd love to hear from you. I will be pulling uh, clarifiers, so stay tuned for that. And also Oracle messages, um, advice from spirit. So when you do um, like, share, subscribe, there's two contests like below. Check out the description box. Um, I am available for private readings as well. Um Anyways, beyond that, what did I want to say? Oh, yeah, it puts your energy into the channel. When you like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell, it puts your energy into the channel so that I can resonate with the energy that's liking the videos. So that is something that some people don't know. It is free to like, share, subscribe, comment. So um, I do appreciate it if you do. There's also a contest to be won um, for those likes and subscribes. So check all that out. Like I say, if you like my vibe, please subscribe. All right. Hopes, fears, wishes. There we go. Oh, that's too many. Uh -huh. Oh. Oh. All right. Sheesh. Okay. There we go. Okay. So, yeah. Your, your hopes, fears, and wishes. Okay. You're hardworking, Aquarius. Eight of pentacles that's in your hopes wishes and fears and doubts and this is four of cups so boredom and love particularly that's what it means okay boredom not looking at the love surrounding them okay you're not looking at it possibly because you have a lot of things that you're doing and pursuing in terms of work your career so you are hoping for building a long lasting relationship possibly or partnership or growing maybe a business or in terms of your work endeavors you're wanting to fill fulfill your goals your accomplish the things that you want to accomplish okay you're the empress so you're going to want to continue to build um what you like to um do in terms of your career your job any prospects so what your fears are is that if you choose love that you're going to have to let go of if you can see the eight pentacles a couple of these pentacles and the energy like i was talking about will have to go elsewhere you're already the empress you will always sustain that status but you like to work and so the energy you want to put forth is towards work family home okay so that's what you're wanting to work towards okay but you're not um, really quite there yet. I don't know if you will be soon, but at least not for this week. You're not ready to accept the love offer. Okay. You're keeping your options open with the seven of cups. They're open. You're keeping them open. You haven't decided. We will clarify, but there is someone that wants your attention and you're almost like, well, I'm enjoying so many other things in my life, my family, my dog, possibly my relatives. Okay. I mean, family relatives. I think this is a single Aquarius. Okay. So you're not so much into love this week for the 16th to the uh, 23rd. Okay. You're wanting to work hard and achieve it, And I feel that if you choose a cup, which you're not looking at, um, you're going to have to let go of the pentacle. And as an empress, you want to make sure that you're nourished in the same way as um, a counterpart would nourish you and take care of you, love you, um, offer you the same stability and all the 
like abundance that you can create on your own, you're wanting a partner that can match that. Okay. So possibly that is what you're thinking about this week with so many seven, uh, with, so, with all of the options that they're talking about with the eight of cups. Okay. Or eight of wands. Okay. So you're not ready yet. And maybe they will step up their game and they'll be like, all right, I'm on board. I'm doing the, I'm working harder. I'm not giving up. So they could come in as an em emperor. Okay. Gender doesn't matter in tarot. Um, okay. So take, and also cross watchers. If you find yourself in this reading, um, please know that um, it's intended for Aquarius. So please don't take offense to if I said that the cross watcher is a knight of cups. I'm sorry. Um, it's the cards here. So maybe something will happen differently, but it seems like the Empress is quite fine, working steadily. Like I said, celebrating family, relatives coming together. Okay. Likely outcome. What is the likely outcome of the situation? This is the long-term outcome. Okay. This could be six months to a year from now. The recent future is a lot of communication. So you may be talking to people, which is fine. You can talk to as many people as you like. But I don't think you're really ready at this time, Aquarius, to jump in full uh, with a relationship right now. Um, and do I see many pentacles? No, that's the only pentacles I've seen. And that is in your hopes and wishes. So that's why I'm really pointing out your work efforts, okay? Um, because it's the only pens I've seen. And you're very talented, very much striving for um, success, okay? And that is what you are working on this week. So, cross watchers out there, just know, don't take offense to it because um, Aquarius is busy working um, if they happen not to uh, respond. That's what I'm feeling. That was a message for some cross watcher, I think, out there possibly. Okay. Likely outcome is temperance, okay? So, temperance. Um, that is also Aquarius energy, I feel, as a tarot reader, of course. So you're going to be taking your time. Um, you're just, you're going to be working steadily towards what you want to work for and work towards. And your life purpose is family, loving your friends and family. Okay. You're still going to be, you know, inviting friends to celebrations, things like that. Um, but that's your life purpose at the moment. And it does say, let go, walk away from the situation in order to resolve it. Remember, you're the peacock. Your loyalty is misplaced by serving too many others. Remember that. I'm just sort of um, bringing it together with the animal spirit messages. And the experiences that you're experiencing and going through is an initiation to fulfilling your purpose as a healer, which is what I was trying to get at with the animal messages here. You are possibly in healing mode, taking time to heal yourself or others. That could be something that you are doing in the future. You may be a healer, possibly helping family um, in terms of healing and letting go of some things that no longer serve you. Okay, so that is what you're all about for this week. And, you know, temperance could last a lifetime. I'm healing every day. I know I've done the shadow work. Um, it's hard, but I've done it. And temperance. It's one of the most beautiful, most patient um, cards. Okay, so be patient with yourself. Be gentle with yourself. Um, no rushing. Um, temperance, okay? It takes time to heal. Whatever it is that you're healing, or if you're a healer yourself, if you're thinking about being one, um, you can totally do that. And possibly that's what you're working towards. For, you know, this is maybe for... A couple of Aquariuses out there. So you're taking time to heal from a situation. Okay, so I don't feel that that's a negative card at all, but I will clarify the cards for you. This is from the Witch's Tarot for Aquarius. So I hope it, I'm making sense of your week ahead, Aquarius. If it resonates, let me know. I'd be interested to hear what you are working on um, for this week. The 
clarifying for Aquarius. Clarifying cards for Aquarius. And I'm from bottom of the deck. Okay. Don't worry about it. Okay. <laughs> um, don't worry about the love offers. Don't fret about it. Don't worry about it. We have seven of cups here. A lot of thought is going into this. Um, you know, these different love offers I do feel are coming in hot and heavy for you. Um, and it's causing you possibly sleepless nights. Um, let that go. Okay. Um, you can always um, take time, okay? So maybe there's something that's causing anxiety, worries, take time for yourself. Make sure you're taking care of yourself during these times. This could be anything from, you know, worrying about the love offers or family. Um, there could be a situation that you're dealing with. Okay, so for Seven of Cups, clarifying that is the death card. So transformation. So through your choices and your options with the seven of cups, not knowing what to choose. It's actually serving you a really um, greater purpose because you are transforming your energy through that and then onto the temperance. So we have clarifying the heart of the matter. You are needing to transform. This happens. It doesn't, uh, it's not what people think the death card. It's not like things are over. It's actually shedding old skin and opening up new doors. So to clarify what I'm meaning by that is um, the different offers that you're possibly, it could be in work, love, anything. Okay. You will know your story. Um, you're, you're thinking about a lot. That means like overthinking about the seven of cups overanalyzing, okay, worrying about it. Through that process, though, you're being challenged because you are transforming, which is a wonderful thing because then, um, just like the phoenix, you come out stronger. So whatever it is that you ponder through these times of now, self, um, seven of cups could be illusion, fantasy, daydreaming, you know, um, up at night wondering, all these different uh, choices, options, not knowing what to do, okay? You are transforming your energy and then I believe you will come up with something as you transform something new, um, a new you. Okay, that's what the death card is symbolic of, the new you coming back from something and you are um, better for it. Okay, so there could be new doors in terms of um, partnerships of any kind, but once you transform, it's a challenge and it's not challenging to transform. It feels good. Um, when we do let go, okay? So letting go is huge in your reading. Letting go of old ideas, old uh, different thoughts that, um, you know, letting go of all of these different things that you're curious about, wondering about, you are transforming that energy and it's going to turn into something great. New doors will be opening for you. And we also have the Wheel of Fortune. Okay, and then we got the Empress again. So celebrate you. Okay, celebrate you. We have the Empress twice, your feelings, your thoughts, okay, and also the situation, the Empress, okay? So you are celebrating yourself, and you're going to be going through, I believe, a massive turnaround in terms of um, how you see yourself, and maybe stepping up. This is your glow up. This is a glow up right here, and we've only just started... Um, you know, clarifying. So it's your glow up and you're celebrating that, okay? Celebrating your nurturing qualities, your caregiving qualities, possible healing qualities as well. So you're wanting to come together with those that are like-minded, like the Empress, okay? So you're wanting to come together with people that match your energy. That's what it is all about. Okay, the Wheel of Fortune here, please, for Aquarius. Really interested to see what you're working towards. So for the Wheel of Fortune, you're not letting go of this fortune. We got the Four of Pentacles. Okay, you are not going to let go of your status, all the things that you've achieved, your transformation, your glow up. You're not letting go of the Empress status. Um, you enjoy... Uh, the Empress can stand on her own, and you got the Empress twice, so can stand on her own and be very, very happy, very luxurious, very kind, generous, um, 
creative, of course. Okay. And then for the Page of Cups, clarified by the Hermit. So, yeah, you're doing a little soul searching. Okay. And that's what the Seven of Cups also um, signifies there with the transformative energy of the Death card. Okay. So, you're doing some soul searching. This is the recent past. You have been doing this. And then the Eight of Wands. Okay strong messages coming coming through so a lot of strong strong messages coming towards you you got strength clarifying the eight of wands okay so and i believe the moon is moving full moon is moving new moon sorry into leo um today okay so you got the strength card this is a wonderful card okay so this is um create someone courageous someone very um bold okay um i feel that is um, just something that's in your near future. So pay attention to any messages that are coming through. They're going to be strong. They're going to be bold. And then the person I was talking about, whoever this Knight of Cups is to you, um, was clarified again by the Seven of Cups. So we got, yeah, they know you have options and they're, they're not going to stop fighting for their Empress. Now, what I would like to see is, because you've gone within, you're, you know, doing some healing, doing some inner work, soul searching, you're coming out stronger. This person is not going to um, allow you to slip by. Um, they don't want to. So they see um, a beautiful empress in front of them and they're not shy. They're coming in with the Knight of Cups. Now, what I would like to see is them coming in with a king or queen status for you. Um, that would make all the difference in the world for this reading. But we'll see what happens. Okay. So their thoughts, so they know you have options. Okay. They know you, and they want to be the one that you choose. You see, they're pointing, they're saying, pick me. Okay. So that's nice. Okay. And I feel like you're enjoying these messages. If you're talking to someone, it feels like with the strength card, the conversations are happening. They're very strong. Um, okay. So, okay. Yeah. Just like, yeah, you're stepping back. You're taking a look at what you have and what they have to offer. Okay. That's how you're feeling. Um, is this sustainable with this person? Okay. We have the eight of cups above that. That's a seven of cups. So you're taking a step back, taking a pause, seeing if it's something you want to put your energy towards. Okay. This knight of cups love offer. Okay. And then we have came out together the four of cups and the eight of pentacles. So the eight of pentacles came out first, which means you're busy working. You're uh, mastering. You already mastered, but you're mastering and continuing to learn new skills, developing your craft, um, whatever it is. Aquarius's, like I said, are very innovative, um, always come up with great ideas. So, but it looks like you're bored with these options. Please clarify for Aquarius. Please, for Aquarius. So I could see why you're wanting to reevaluate the situation with the Knight of Cups because it's coming at a time where you've already established yourself and the Seven of Pentacles is taking a step back saying, hmm, is this person right for me? Do they match my energy? That is what it's all about. Do they match my energy? And I'm really hoping that we can pull a card for them that does show that because they are very courageous and strong and they are not going to give up with the Five of Wands, the Eight of Wands, and the Strength card. Okay. Clarifying the Eight of Pentacles for beautiful Aquarius. So just let you know, I am available for private readings. Um, when you subscribe, uh, you could win a free tarot reading as well. Okay. There we go. Got a king. Okay. So yeah, they're going to say what they need to say. Okay. That's what's clarifying. Okay. But this is your energy, your hopes, fears, and wishes is the king of swords. Let me take a look. Your hopes, fears, wishes, and doubts. You're going to speak your truth. You're going to say what needs to be said. You're going to cut out what no longer serves you. And I don't think it's going to be anything to do with dropping a coin so that your energy goes towards love at this time. Okay. You're going to say what needs to be said. We got a king. Feel like it's your energy though. This is an air, air uh, card. Okay. Aquarius, Libra, and Gemini. So you're going to say what needs to be said. You may be very... Um, 
I always say frank, um, very frank about it. You're going to, you know, take charge of the situation. You're going to say yes or no is what's going to happen. And that is what you're hoping and fear is, is that, you know, you have to say something as an Aquarius, you know, you need to say something and you know that it will um, either help you or help the person. The reason the king or queen or any of the air signs shows up is to cut out what no, no longer serves them or the other person. Okay. So saying what needs to be said is really a strong value to have because it gives us truth. And within that, there's a lot of strength and change that can happen. So when the king of swords speaks, he's very, very strong, fair, firm. Okay. And it may come off strong. And that could be what your fear is that you're going to come off so strong. You're going to hurt someone's feelings. The king though, doesn't care. That is what your hopes and fears are that you could say what needs to be said. Communication is what it's all about with the air signs, especially with the king of swords, speaking your truth, standing your guard and saying what needs to be said. I'm going to clarify that one more time. What is it that Aquarius wants to say? to this knight of cups okay so being an empress though as well you already are nurturing you're already very caring so you're just having to bring out the king of swords and you're like as an empress it's like great i got to bring out my sword i didn't want to have to do that okay so yeah um what came out with was six of wands so you're going to be victorious okay so nothing to worry about um being an empress having to like being like okay i'll get my sword now and i need to say something but it's going to be received well okay and if you got the six of one so that's you know victory success okay public accolades so you're saying something that is going to make a huge difference like i said the king of swords can make change like that okay change things it for the good of all okay temperance please for aquarius watch my time for Aquarius so I believe letting go of this situation for now putting it on the back burner is something I would say would be good um, you're wanting to work you got the seven of pentacles here um, and you also have the eight of pentacles victory success public recognition uh, this is someone in the limelight someone very much out there an empress um, of course okay so the temperance okay so this is what i'm feeling if you do not okay we have the tower here when we don't speak our truth when we don't say what needs to be said within the moment to that creates a tower moment Okay, if we do not say what's in our heart, mind, and soul, what we're feeling, what we're thinking, if we hold that back, we do not say something, okay, because that is what the worry was with the Four of Cups, okay, you're not wanting to look at the cups, though, if you don't look at the, if you don't look at the cups, the love offer that I'm talking about, or the partnership that I'm talking about, for you Aquarius, a tower moment will occur. But we have temperance here, so I feel like it's not to worry about. It's just saying the long-term most likely outcome because the King of Swords did speak up, did speak his truth. So, and you are victorious because of that, okay? So tower moments to me are not as, as uh, it's chaotic energy, right? So it changes things because, of course, it changes the foundation, the structure, our thinking, our values, our morals, every, like all of that, right? So what I would like to say about that is, if I can, because you spoke your truth, the tower moment may not happen. When we speak our truth, no matter what it is, if it's going to hurt someone's feelings, we try to say so in a gentle, more calm, you know, way so that the message is received. Okay. And that's what the king and queens is, is great at, especially the queen of uh, swords, receiving messages and then giving and receiving and a communication. Okay. Because you're speaking your truth, you're standing your ground. It's your authentic self that is speaking. If you hide your feelings, hide your emotions, don't say anything for however long, it will, the universe will come in and disrupt 
that um, and you will then have a tower moment and whatever needs to come out of that in terms of whatever needs to be said um, will need to happen anyways. Okay. So it looks like you've already caught it um, in time. Okay. Because we do have that um, your hopes and fears. It's like, I don't know if I want to say yes or no. I don't know yet. I'm not sure. That was the heart of the matter. And then you do come to your truth is that, yeah, you want to work towards something that feels right for you. Okay. And you do speak up for yourself. You do say what needs to be said. Okay. And then we have temperance in the tower. Um, I will clarify that tower because yes, that is a negative card. We're going to have two bonus cards here for you. Okay. Just to show the energy of how it could be transformed. A lot of transformative energy, especially with the death card at the beginning. Okay. Okay. So you already know the high priestess, you know, you're uh, that's coming out as you. Okay. So you know, what needs to be said, you know, what needs to be done. Okay. You already know this and um, five of pentacles. Okay. Because you speak your truth, because you already know we have the five of pentacles. You're, this is abandoned. Okay. This is something that you're leaving behind. Um, I feel that it's your bonus card highlighting that you're needing to leave some of these energies behind the strong, um, love offer that's coming towards you. I feel it is not for you at this time. Okay. You're the high priestess, um, knowing the laws of the universe, having, you know, secrets within, um, experiences. Okay. That's what the high priestess is about experiences, a lot of knowledge. So you know that you're needing to let go of this. And that's why I'm saying that. Okay. I feel that that is the reason. And at the bottom of the deck here again, Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, what you don't see coming is the shadow side. So controlling, okay, this could be someone that's controlling, manipulative, okay, this is the shadow side, okay, maybe possibly oppressive, okay, so pay attention to that, um, you, maybe this could be also the shadow side, too, um, too many fantasies and illusions, a lot of um, thinking, too much thinking, obsessive thinking, okay, um, take what resonates and flip roles as you see fit. Remember that. I will pull now from the fairies oracle. So advice from spirit for Aquarius. What do we have here? Okay, I feel um, that with the eight of pentacles, this actually goes lovely with that motivation. And pretty cards. I love these cards so much. Motivation. When spring approaches, the flower fairies urge you to spring into action. If there's something you've been merely thinking about doing, they say get busy and do it. Yes, definitely with the eight of pentacles. That resonates, I feel, a lot. Uh, really talks about that energy. Um, keep moving forward in terms of your endeavors, passions, your creations, your work efforts. Okay. Keep doing that. Of course, then on the bottom of the deck, uh, underneath, I just saw it just popped out, um, is the star card there. Okay. So you are the star that is Aquarius's card. Any other clarifiers? Yes. Keepers of delight. So advice from spirit is to keep moving forward with your endeavors. Okay. Your passions, your pursuits, your dreams. Keep fulfilling those. Okay. You know, as an empress, you can fill your own cup. You take care of yourself and others and your family, it looks like. Okay. So for Aquarius, any messages, please, for Aquarius? Okay, we have soul expansion. Your consciousness is expanding. You understand the connections between all things. Okay, and I feel that goes nicely with temperance. Okay, you're expanding and also with the death card in the heart of the matter, clarifying that. Um, definitely expansion, transformation, um, taking time for yourself, taking care of yourself. Um, and then we have devotion, Krishna. Trust your spiritual guidance. Your commitment has been recognized. You are loved unconditionally. Right. There you go. Okay. One more that popped out for you. Uh, ascension, move into your true self, rise above the darkness, the light is here. And I think you do that effortlessly right at the get-go, right out of the gate with the death card, okay? And you're letting go the hermit 
as well. I think the most important card I will, I could see in terms of your reading is the Knight of Cups. I'm just going to say that is the most significant in your reading because we have a lot of Empress here. And so I, and a Page of Cups as well. But I feel like the Knight of Cups is trying to bring in um, this love potion for you and you're not ready for it this week. So I think that is the most important card because there's just so much success. Um, the Temperance Angel is here as well. So you'll be celebrating though. You're going to be celebrating a lot of life. You're going to be motivated this week. Okay. With that fairy card. So stay true to you. Okay. And thanks for watching. Cheese Tarot. See you next time.